All right, so I got a catch can here that's run off a vacuum, but seeing as I have a turbo, when it gets into boost, we don't want to be pressurizing the crankcase, so I have a check valve in there. But I also had to tee it off of the same line that runs my brake booster, and that's kind of sketchy. Sometimes when I back up, it won't have enough vacuum, the brakes get hard, doesn't really want to stop too well. So I really don't like this setup, but I got a better solution. Maybe I should rephrase that. I have a solution. <laughs> uh, it might be a little sketchy. I'm gonna try an electric vacuum pump. So I bought this kit. It has nice long hose, which is good because I'm probably gonna have to mount this remote. My engine bay is pretty full. And uh, it comes with obviously a pump, a bracket, some other mounting hardware, and this neat little valve that once it reaches a certain amount of vacuum, it actually shuts the pump off, so it'll last a little bit longer. Un until it doesn't. And then I don't have brakes. Maybe I have brakes once. That's all you need, right? So, pretty nice little kit. Nice long wires on here, nice long leads. And a relay. It's got a, a built-in fuse for it, so. For 200 bucks, it should work pretty well. And it also had pretty good reviews, so let's figure out where we can put this thing. Not, not in there. No. So I recently also installed a Max Jacks lift, which is fantastic. I don't have a really high ceiling in my garage. It's about 101 inches, so a normal size lift would be in the ceiling. But Ben Pack makes these Max Jacks lift and they are pretty incredible. It's seriously, <laughs> seriously a game changer. So I'm going to get this thing up on the lift. We're going to start mounting that vacuum pump. seriously be impossible to get this high up off the ground with jack stands. I love this. Let's get under here. Come here. Alright, I mean while we're down here, might as well show you the exhaust that I made. So it's three and a half inch coming out of the turbo. Next down to three inch here. And then I have two resonator slash muffler type objects. <laughs> Uh, they're straight through, but there is packing in them, and it actually makes it pretty quiet. Like, you could mistake this for a V6 if you don't have a trained ear. Eh. And that's what I was going for. I want it to be a sleeper. That's why it's so ugly. I mean, it's hideous. I mean, seriously, I need to, I need to wrap this thing or something. I, I just... Every day isn't Christmas. God, I hate this color scheme. But anyway, uh, yeah, exhaust sounds pretty good. I'm happy with it. For now, we gotta figure out where we're putting this vacuum pump. Cause even down here, not a lot of room. I mean, there's like room up there, but I don't know if my vacuum line's long enough. Maybe I should put that in there and see how far I can actually get. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. I mean, I really wish they would have cut this hose straight. They cut this with like, a butter knife or something? Like, how lazy do you gotta be? Every inch counts, people. Yeah. Let's see if I can screw this up. Yeah, a little bit better there. All right, so I got the old hose popped off. Should just have to put the new one on. Mother <laughs> Son of a Wrong size hose. This is the end of the world. All right. This kind of things happen all the time. It's not that big of a deal. I have a million different like adapters and things. But I almost never have the right one. Let's see if I got something. This is probably something I should have caught, but I'm an idiot. Like, they probably sell different sizes. It'll be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Well, that's nice. 
Okay, we're getting somewhere. That definitely does not go in there. Uh, I'm just gonna make something. Seemed like a lot of work. It's actually kind of a blessing in disguise because I forgot that I need to run a vacuum line off of this for the HVAC as well. Uh, blend doors inside run on vacuum and I'd like to have a constant vacuum supply for those too. So whatever. It should work. So I'm gonna get this on here, get it hooked up to this hose and then run that somewhere and we can start figuring out where we're actually gonna put this pump. So I got this hose routed down across the other side of the motor and then up under the frame rail here, well above the frame rail. And we're almost to the back of the cab. So this comes with plenty of hose, which is really convenient because we don't have a lot of room. Uh, but I think I'm gonna mount this pump right here. This keeps it away from the engine heat and the exhaust and the transmission cooler. So I think that's a good spot. If I have to, I can change it later. But I'm going to drill out some holes here and put in some rib nuts, and then this thing will be mounted. Then the only thing we have left is wiring, which should be easy. Hopefully. It'll be fine. So I got all the wiring buttoned up. I did have to add another relay so that it could be turned on with a switch or the key. So should be pretty good. Let's go test it with the key and see what it does. All right, so we should be able to turn the key on 
pump your kick on, get up to 25 inches of mercury vacuum, and then should turn off. It's not the quietest thing I've ever heard. Okay, so it turned off. So if I hit the brake, it should, as soon as I release off the brake, it should turn back on again. And hopefully not take too long to turn off again. Because it'd be really bad if I didn't have brakes after I used them once for like several seconds. So let's see. Kind of a while. I hope I don't have to use my brakes multiple times in a row. We're just gonna have to see how it goes. All right, here goes. This is legitimately the first time I've tried this. My hopes aren't too high. I'm at about a 50-50 of this thing being legitimate. Let's see what happens. I get some AC going, huh? Brakes are working great. All right, well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it will work okay. idea if you're going to be able to hear that in the video or not, but the blow-off valve sounds pretty fun. First good brake test. Going nice. Blow off the brakes a little bit and then I'm going to hit them again. We still got full brake. quarter throttle and uh, we might have just been speeding a little bit <laughs> this thing loves to get up and go pretty fast it's really awesome and honestly not sure if you're gonna be able to see this in the video or not but it's just such a smooth ride the exhaust honestly is not loud especially in the cab it's just enjoyable and then when you want to get on it you give it the beans brakes are feeling pretty good. I wasn't too sure if I was going to hit it, but I think we're about to cross into Mexico. We might as well give her a go. Turning the AC off. Cars. How is it that there's this many cars in Mexico? Well, I guess they have cars too. Alright, back on with the AC. Definitely a cop sitting there. No playtime in Mexico today. I guess that's not the point of this video anyway, is to see if electric brakes or an electric pump will actually work for your brakes. Retain power brakes. It seems to be working pretty well. Gotta admit I was surprised. After the initial testing last night in the garage, hearing how long the pump stayed on for, I was a little nervous. But I think it just takes that long to hit full vacuum, and even at half vacuum, when the pump actually kicks on, you still have more than enough. It's still got more vacuum, technically, than this thing had in idle, running off the engine vacuum, so it might just be fine. While you're driving along, you definitely can't hear it. So that's nice. pump works. There's 
no denying it, it worked just fine. I am still a little sketched out about it. We'll see how it goes over time. Next time, though, we're going to be doing some really cool stuff. We're going to build a fuel cell. But I just recently bought this 3D scanner, so I'm going to scan the entire underside of the truck and then design the fuel cell in CAD. I'm pretty excited about it. So make sure you stop by next time and check that out. I appreciate you guys watching this time. We'll see you next time.